Hi, my name is Alvin Wu. I'm an international grandmaster from Singapore. Today I'm going to introduce to you a basic Xiangqi open concept. Okay, Canon 2 to 5, Pause 8 plus 7, Pause 2 plus 3, Chariot 9 to 8, Chariot 1 to 2, Pause 2 plus 3. So at this formation, it is called the center cannon versus the screen horse defense. Which has a few variations. Soldier 3 plus 1, Soldier 7 plus 1, Pause 8 plus 9. Today I'm going to discuss uh, a mistake that most beginners move. Chariot 2 plus 6. Why this is not such a good move? Usually, top players or good players will move Soldier 7 plus 1, Soldier 7 plus 1, and then Chariot 2 plus 6. But why is moving Chariot 2 plus 6 not a good move at this current position? Canon 8 to 9, Chariot 2 to 3, Canon 9 minus 1. At this point, if it moves, Soldier 7 plus 1, Black can move chariot 8 plus 8, threatening to pin the horse on Black's second farm. Red can move his advisors or the horse. Let's say he moves his advisor 6 plus 5, Canon 9 to 7, chariot 3 to 4, Canon 7 plus 5. So as you see, Black is threatening the checkmate and uh, there's, no, there's nothing much that Rick can do to prevent that unless he sacrifices his elephant by moving his king or his advisor down. So obviously this is not an acceptable scenario for Black, for Rick. Can I to 7? Chariot 3 to 4? Horse 7 to 8? Chariot 4 to 3? Chariot 1 plus 1? At this current position, red has got a few variations. So the 3 plus 1, chariot 3 minus 2. Let's talk about the first variation. So the 3 plus 1, pause 8 minus 9. Chariot 3 minus 1, Elephant 3 plus 5. Of course, there's also Chariot 3 plus 2, but if you move Chariot 3 plus 2, that can move Advisor 4 plus 5. So, whatever you move next, if you move Horse, if you move Horse 3 minus 4, and this uh, Chariot has nowhere, to, has nowhere to run. He can only sacrifice his his chariot, but obviously, when only when uh, there's there's an attack, or there's a chance of attack, good chance of attack, would red sacrifice his chariot? At this point, there isn't any obvious uh, positional advantage to sacrifice his chariot. You do an exchange. Canon 8 plus 5, Canon 2 plus 5, Canon 5 to 8, Chariot 8 to 7. So now, um, Red has a few choices. We will we'll talk about the first one. Knight 3 minus 5. Chariot 1 to 6. Canon 8 minus 1. Chariot 7 to 6. Threatening a checkmate. So black has 1. If Canon takes chariot, black checkmates. Obviously not acceptable for red. <coughs> so 
So at this position, if vet takes horse, black takes a check, check one to six, threatening a checkmate, and black has one. If you move uh, your cannon, cannon eight minus one, move his chariot here, threatening a checkmate on the next move. So this is also not acceptable. Chariot 8 plus 2, cannon takes horse, next move, chariot 1 to 6, so red has to move his, his horse and black can escape, black's horse can escape, so at this point, black is up a piece, so red is at the, the very big disadvantage as well. So let's rewind. Next variation. Chariot 3 minus 2. Black cap captures soldier, threatening to take elephant and then to take chariot. Chariot uh, horse 3 minus 5. Chariot 8 to 6. Threatening chariot 1 to 6. So if you move chariot 3 plus 1, black can move horse 8 plus 9 or chariot 1 plus 6. All to actually all to black's advantage. So now let's rewind and take a look why this is not a good move. If red moves his pawn, his soldier, sorry. Black moves his soldier, red then moves chariot 2 plus 6. As you can see, with this pawn, with this soldier here, and without this soldier, it makes a big difference. By black, without this soldier, black creates a big threat to its third foul. When the soldier is here, red is move, moving his chariot. It's not such an effective move. 